What's going on, gentlemen? For those that don't know, last night was the 90th Annual Academy Awards. And today, we're going to go over the worst and best dress along with the latest trends that we saw. Alright, to start this off, we are going to be talking about Jordan Peele, who actually uh, made history last night by winning an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay, excuse me, first African American uh, screenwriter to win it in all of the 90 years of the Oscars. So looking at his outfit here, he went with the white tuxedo coat, with the black trousers, the shiny tuxedo shoes actually look really good with this outfit because everything's so tapered down to the um, shoes, it actually looks great. And the, the black, t uh, black bow tie touch looks great. And one thing I do like about his whole look right here is that he's actually well groomed. Uh, the beard is well groomed, the glasses are a nice touch, but everything just fits him perfectly. So for our next gentleman, we are looking at Miguel, who actually performed on stage last night. Great performance, but let's take a look at his uh, red carpet look. So at first when I look at this, I thought he initially was wearing a cape, but it looks like it's just a overcoat that he's just having hang hung off his shoulders. Um, a little bit too excessive. What I do love about gentlemen who come dressed at the Oscars is when they step out of their comfort zone and they try to be bold with some patterns in their uh, coats. And that's exactly what I love about this outfit. His entire coat has this beautiful like textured sequence to it, which makes it pop and, uh, and he stands out. All right, so here we have Tom Holland, our young Spider-Man. So if you look at this outfit, one thing you'll notice is his jacket. It's not like your typical tuxedo jacket or suit jacket. This is a double-breasted jacket, which you'll see on one side of the coat, it's brought over a little too much. Usually when I see double-breasted coats, you see more of the shirt underneath than the tie. So it seems a little bit too high for a double-breasted coat, but, you know, once again, he pulls it off, you know, well-tailored um, outfit. All right, so next we have Daniel Kaluuya who is, for those that don't know, he's a great actor, he was in Get Out. Here we have him wearing probably one of the most standout uh, outfits of the night with this like copper velvet jacket. I think it uh, suits him very well. I think it just looks a little bit, makes him look bigger than what he really is. I'm not a big fan of, I guess, the, the, the material of the coat makes him look, it makes it look frumpy and it's not flattering to his body type. Uh, the bow tie is tied well, and I love the uh, the shirt stud accents on the shirt. My favorite of the night, and our next gentleman on the red carpet was Common. Okay, so what's not to like about this outfit? First of all, the velvet stripe going down the pants, down to the velvet shoes. I love when people uh, step out of their comfort zone and they don't do like shiny, glossy dress shoes. He's got the velvet shoes, and then he's got the accent on the pants to match the velvet shoes. And then the coat, the wide, the wide peak lapel that's got the velvet look to it. And then of course the, the lapel on the, on the peak, right? That's just the perfect touch to the outfit. Everything fits him so well. He just pulled this off. Amazing. All right, so next we have Timothy Chalamet, who was nominated for an Oscar in a leading role. I always love the all white look, especially with the white bow tie. Here's what stands out to me the most. He's got on some leather Chelsea boots and I'm a big fan of leather Chelsea boots. So that just made the entire outfit pop, right? For me, that was like the icing on the cake. I love the all white look. It's fit well to him and he pulled it off. All right, so next up, Matthew McConaughey, who actually is you know, a, a great actor. I actually enjoy watching all his films. Um, and he always is you know, a, a, a hit to the ladies. Let's talk about his outfit. Well, no, let's not talk about his outfit because he, you know, he looks good in his outfit. Let's talk about his grooming, okay? So, I don't know what he's got going on with his, his beard hair. I'm not looking too well with my beard hair right now, but you know, when you're showing up to the Academy Awards, the Oscars, you need to be well groomed, you need to have a, a, a suit or a tuxedo that's fitting you, it's tailored, it's tapered into your body type so it fits you well. Um, he just you know, forgot to, to shave the neck hair off and it just looks horrible and you can tell it just, and he's not someone that grows a really great beard anyways. It's very patchy and it just grows in long and stringy. So for him to not have groomed himself before the show, um, that was a big mistake, Matthew. All right, so next we have Chadwick Boseman from Black Panther. He probably had one of the most diverse looks and most uh, untraditional looks uh, at the Oscars last night. So he doesn't have a collared shirt. Uh, the jacket has some incredible details that go from the shoulder. You can't see it in this picture, but 
all through the back of his uh, coat was this, this detail, this incredible detail. Um, I think this outfit actually suits him very well. I think he looks really good in it, and he pulled off a, like I said, one of the most diverse looks at the Oscar last night. All right, last but not least, in my opinion, the worst dressed last night at the Oscars. Sorry to be so cruel about it. I'm figure skater Adam Rippon. And I'm going to rip on that outfit horribly because I don't even know where to start. I don't even know what's going on here. I get it. It's supposed to be some sort of like abstract design in fashion, but the leather suspenders crossing over traditional suspenders, the leather bow tie, the leather clips from a suspender connecting the jacket. I just don't even know what's going on here or, or what is trying to be accomplished here with that look. You're a great figure skater, but you don't know how to dress. Plain and simple. Sorry. Alright, what can we take away with last night's Oscars? The latest trends. Black and navy tuxedos and velvet coats. Both are wearable pieces that you can incorporate in your everyday outfits. So there you have it. Those were the best and worst dressed from last night's 90th annual Academy Awards.